Hey YouTube, welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install a solar panel racking system. I've done several of these before and this particular racking system I purchased on Amazon and I will include a link for it down below. I've done several solar panel installs and this racking system was the easiest one to use. So I'll include step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it all up so you can do it on your home. If you'd like to see the step-by-step -step procedure for the entire solar array, I will include that video right up here. This link will take you over to the step-by-step -step video for installing an entire solar system on your home. With the racking kit comes the feet to mount the racks, the, to mount the rails to the roof. The, these are braces to put between the rails so you can make them longer, tie them together. The really long bolts or screws to put the feet down into the roof. The T-shaped brackets go between the panels and then there's sort of S-shaped looking brackets that go on the end ones. Then it also comes with some extra little brackets like this. These are for like mounting micro inverters. Since we're gonna be using a string inverter for this setup, we won't need those. Put those back in the box. And it came with two extra bags of bolts the bolts are different lengths in the air of my hand, and they can be exchanged out for the bolts that are in these if your panels are different sizes. That makes this kit universal for all, all different size panels. So I'll have to check and see which size bolts I will need for the panels we're using today. It also came with some rubber gaskets that go underneath the feet, that go on the, the bottoms of the feet to keep, to keep this from leaking. Uh, since I'm gonna be putting this on a carport, sort of thing. I'm not too concerned about it. The, the roofing screws also have uh, gaskets on those. The, this is uh, set up great for putting it on a metal roof like we're going to be doing. Since it's on a carport kind of thing, I'm not too concerned about it leaking. If it drips a little bit, it's not that big a deal to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some clear uh, roof and gutter silicone stuff in all the holes when I'm putting these in there. Here's how the different pieces in the kit go together. The rails are mounted vertically so that your solar panel clips go in the top, in the skinny part, and then on the, the wide side that has the ridges in it is where the feet go. So how they'll be connected, this is one of the feet. To connect the different pieces, you'll see the one side is, is fatter than the other side. I slipped the, the skinny side down in there and then that'll hold it in place. And you tighten that top screw down and it'll tighten the foot up to the back of that. And on these feet, it has ridges that'll hold it in place once it's tightened down. Try to get it tight, tight enough here. So once it's tight, tightened in place, the ridges will lock in, keeping the feet held at the right length. Then the brackets that hold the solar panels on work the same way. There's uh, the fat side and the skinny side. Just slip them in and then it'll lock in place and you tighten this down so that the T piece or the end piece grabs a hold of the top edge of the solar panel. The brackets that hold the two rails together fit in either this top rail, the top groove or the side groove where the feet go. I think it's probably better to put them in that side groove where the feet go. And then you tighten the screws down and it'll hold your two rails together in a straight line. You can either put the feet on the roof first and then try to connect the rail to them. But I think I'm gonna put try to put the feet on each rail. So I'll put two feet on each rail and then I'll go up there and I'll leave them loose so that they can slide a little bit like that. So they can get them the right where I want to put the screw in and then screw it down. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the feet on the rails now. I've measured and laid out my racking where I'm, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have two rows of six panels. So they will be laying uh, lengthwise across here. Each pair of rails is supposed to hold two up to 40 inch panels, but the rails are like 88 inches long or something like that. So they give you a few extra inches of play. So if you don't get them perfectly straight, you've got, you've got a little bit of room to work with. So that's okay. 
So far, the racking system that I got off of Amazon, I really like it. Uh, it's been all finger, finger bolts, and they all use a six millimeter Allen wrench uh, for all these and for the brackets on the top. So it's been really easy so far. I really like it. It's a different racking system than what I used for my first ones. I mean, it's, it's similar, but the first ones that I did used a couple different sizes of nuts, like this one. And it was a little bit tricky to get them on. You can see the difference in the rail. I mean, it's a similar system, but this is the one that I got from Missouri Wind and Solar uh, last year. This, this set that I got off of Amazon, I think I'm liking it better. It seems to, seems to be pretty much like everything only fits one way and it's been super easy to use, so I like it. My next step's gonna be screwing in the railing by, I'm gonna remove one of the existing screws in the roof and then you put one of these in between the foot and the hole in the roof so that it lines up and then you'll drive one of those big roofing screws down into there. They provide you with these fatter, longer ones. So it'll go through this and into there, no problem. If we can hit a stud on the other side of this, they're all, all these screws should be into the roofing slats, the one buys that run across length or width wise. So they sh those will all be in one of those. If we can hit a stud behind it with one of these, even better. When I do this, I'm also going to, once I, I pull this out, I'm gonna squirt some of the roofing sealant in and around this hole. And then when I stand the rail up and put this in there, it'll seal it all up. These use a 10 millimeter socket. So the only things you'll need are a six millimeter Allen wrench and then a 10 millimeter socket to put these roof screws in. If you've got it in a drill like this, it'll be easier to do. When I'm doing this, I'm gonna loosen these a little bit so that I can slide it to where it needs to be. And then once I get this part screwed in, then I'll tighten these back down and then I can go ahead and snug them up with the Allen wrench as well. As you're putting the rails up, when you put one in and you go to put the next one in, we're gonna slide those, slide those uh, brackets that hold the two things together all the way into one side first, because it'd be hard to get it in there. If you put two rails, if you butt them up together, you're not gonna be able to get that bracket piece in between there unless it's already slid in there. Using two power screwdrivers, one for the size to remove the old screws and one for the size to put in the new screws, and a ratchet with the Allen wrench needed to tighten the brackets on, I was able to install, to completely install enough bracketing for six, I'm sorry, for two rows of six, so 12 solar panels, and it took me about an hour. So it was really easy to put the racking together Time to get the solar panels out and ready.